All right, so that brings us to the end of this course. All right, essentially what we have learned here is that you know, how you invest and what you need to learn about investing will depend on three things. Number one, time, how much time you want to spend on it and how much time you can spend on it realistically. And you don't have to, as we've seen, you don't have to you know, sit at the computer all day. You could set it, forget it, or you could just come back to it once a year. It's completely fine. And number two, of course, is how long you intend to hold the investment. So if you're not comfortable holding an investment for a long period of time, obviously you, you'll use a different strategy compared to somebody like me, for example, who's a long-term investor. Secondly, it also depends on what your goal is. Like if you want to generate cash flow from it, then, of course, you'll be investing in a different way and in different things compared to if you're just saving up for retirement, you know, 20, 30, 40 years from now. And last, but perhaps the most importantly, is what preferences and limitations you have. So if some of us may, for example, we don't like staring at charts, some of us may not like financial statements, some of us, some of us don't like numbers. Each one of us is different. We have different preferences. But as we have seen, we can overcome them and invest in a way that suits us and we will enjoy. So one last thing I will leave you with is that the cost of indecision is very high because every $100 that you don't invest today, assuming a 10% annual return, you miss out on $672 20 years from now. So what is most important to make a decision and start and to help you out, I've attached a cheat sheet or a questionnaire that will help you go through this and kind of help you determine exactly how you would like to approach investing. And remember, if you have any questions, please go ahead and post it in the Q&A column. I look forward to helping you out. Thank you very much for taking this course, and I wish you all the best, and I hope I have the opportunity to serve you further. Thank you.